Hi, I'm Jai Nautic, and I lead the engineering group at GIGIO. Today, I'm excited to demonstrate for ISE GIGIO's latest milestone in GPU enumeration and performance. We'll be covering the layout and CDI functionality of the Gigapod infrastructure before diving into the functional applications running on the first ever 32 GPU single node server. Let's get started. Here is a visualization of the topology layout for the two switch Gigapod. Uh, we have two fabrics, memory fabric switches, top and bottom. There are four sets of accelerator pooling appliances, Hydra 15, 41, 34, and 33. Each uh, enclose eight AMD MI210 PCI GPUs. There are six available server ports, three on top switch, three on the bottom. Two sets of composition links allowing traffic between the two switches. And one non-transparent link allowing switch to switch communication over the fabrics NTV. In this example, we will start with all downstream resources deallocated to showcase our CDI capabilities. The target for our super node today will be Super Milan 1. It is a Super Micro 1114 Milan based server. We'll start by allocating the resources from Hydra 15 and Hydra 41, which are on the same switch. We'll then associate the ports connecting the upstream and downstream switches to the same partition for Super Milan 1. Finally, we'll move the last two pooling appliance resources to those downstream composable links to allow all four APAs connection to the single node. With all downstream resources composed to our Super Node, Super Milan 1, we can now log in and see all 32 GPUs present on the system via the driver and Rockham SMI, as well as through the LSPCI output of the system when we search for MI210 GPUs. Next, we can look at the LSPCI tree output downstream of our host bus adapter card, where we see eight groups of four MI210 GPUs representing the four GPUs in each of the APA's sleds. Our first demonstration will be Hashcat, a cryptography tool which will be benchmarking against brute force attacks on an MD5 SHA utilizing all 32 GPUs in parallel. Because this application does not use any P2P operations between the GPUs, there is no overhead management cost for adding cards, leading to a linear performance gain for each GPU added. Next, we will be showing the ResNet 50 benchmark. This example is running on the host operating system inside of a Conda environment. Today, we'll be running the benchmark at half precision with a batch size of 1024 to take advantage of the large memory window of the MI210 GPU. We will first see TensorFlow register all 32 GPUs and prepare the data for processing. After an initial warm-up run, image data will be computed on all GPUs. As the image data is processed, we can see all GPUs ramp up to maximum usage and the first of the image data start to be reported to the screen. In our testing, we see a 99% scaling rate in this application per GPU added, for a total of 69% of perfect scaling with 32 GPUs. Finally, we'll run the ResNet 50 benchmark again, this time inside of a Docker container. This specific container was provided by AMD via their Infinity Hub pre-configured for the TensorFlow with Rockham driver stacks and tools. Because the composed GPUs appear to the server identically as a converged PCI GPU inside the sheet metal of a legacy system, our solution is fully compatible with containerized applications. As before, we see the GPUs all being utilized inside of the ResNet container and providing results after processing the images. Thanks for watching. For more information on Supernode, please visit our website or our hashtag GigaIO Supernode.